Okay, today's the day. We are going to be setting up a brand new Google Ads account. And then from there, we're going to show you how to set up Pmax AI ads to get the best results. Now, the reason we push Google Ads so much is because their AI ads are out of this world. Have you ever been speaking about something and then all of a sudden you see it in your as an ad the next day? That's exactly what they do. They know what you searched for in the past and then they see what you're going to search for in the future. Then they show the ads on every single platform on YouTube, on display networks, even in Gmail, and of course on search. Now in this video, I break down the how-to guide on setting up your ad account, getting it ready, so then we can get into the next video and I can teach you how to set up that Pmax. So if you've never set up a Google Ads account, now is the time, at least get it set up so it can start aging. And then when you are ready to run ads, it'll be ready there for you. All right, let's get started. So all you have to do is go to ads.google.com and this is where the screen you're gonna land on. And what's really cool is they provide a $500 credit when you first sign up. So once you spend 500, you'll get 500 free. So it's almost like, you know, buy one, get one type of thing. So once you're here, you're gonna click start now and you'll be signing in with the, the Google account um, that you're, whatever browser you're using. So you can see I have a dummy account up here that I'm setting up. And then you're gonna see that it basically just says that I can create my first campaign. Now, what you can also do is not ready to create a campaign, you can skip campaign creation. Now, back in the day, they did not allow this. They made you set up a campaign first, and then you had to fill out your billing info, but for now, they allow you to actually skip that, so you can let an expert do it, or you can just dive in to a different type of ad. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill all of this. I'm gonna hit no. What happens is when they send you a Google Ads expert, it's pretty much just an intern salesperson. So they're just gonna to try to get you to spend, you know, ten, twenty thousand dollars a month, um, and they don't really give you too much advice from my experience. And what the main thing is, is they wanna set up some sort of billing account for you right away. So once you hit continue, you're gonna come into the account and you can see that you can start running ads to create your first campaign. Now, what I usually recommend is not clicking here. I recommend starting with this one here. And you can see that this is your dashboard. You're gonna see insights and reports, campaigns, keywords. Um, what's cool is here's some other options is you can go to tools and you can actually go to planning. This is one of the first places I like to go. And even if you don't run Google ads, I recommend using this because it's going to help you find the keywords people are typing for. So what they're going to do is actually give you new keywords. What you can do is either put your competitor's website, your website, or whatever keyword you think. So if I do gym near me, gym in Tampa, something like that. Then I can see get results and it's actually gonna tell me how many searches actually are associated with that keyword. So you can see gym near me, 1 million to 10 million searches a month, which is outstanding. Your competition's low and it continues to grow over and over. So this would be a great keyword to run as an ad um, for anyone in a local area here. Same thing for this, gym in Tampa, one to 10,000 searches a month, low competition. Um, and right here, top of bid page, basically you can say, I wanna spend $2.07 to be number one, or I wanna spend $1.71 to be number one. Now you're not always gonna be number one, it's gonna vary, but this is just a good example here. From there, you can also start adding some different performance planners in here, create a plan uh, with those keywords. But that's like a good place to start. The next thing you want to do is go to your Google tag and you want to get this set up and integrated with your website. If you want to do any type of retargeting or any tracking, you're going to want to follow their steps. Welcome to the tag and they make it super easy for you. You're basically just going to go through these steps on setting up the account and it's going to give you a pixel code that you can put in the head of your website. Um, from there, that's pretty much a good place to start. Now, once you're in here, we can go and we can go to linked accounts. And this is where you'll go and you'll connect your Google Analytics account. So that is one of the main things that you'll wanna do is connect Google Analytics with your Google Ads so it can track any type of conversions or website conversions. You can also track with, connect with YouTube if you plan on doing any YouTube ads as well. Now, let's set up, let's see what type of ads they have. I'm gonna create a different video showing what type of ads I prefer to set up. But when you click create ad, you're going to see these different things here. And, you know, a lot of people want website traffic, they want leads or they want sales. Those are usually the top three here. 
or you can even click here and get started without a goal, at least to get started. And I think if you're new, I like to just start here. And then you can choose basically which one of these campaigns you wanna set up. So I prefer Pmax right now, and I'll create a second video for Pmax. This is where it's gonna show on every single network. I'll show you here. Google Pmax shows on YouTube, Display Network, Search, Discover, Gmail, and Maps. Your ad pretty much will show across the internet. It'll even show on competitor sites. Anyone that runs any analytics or AdSense on their sites, your ads will show there. It's just a really powerful way for you to show everywhere. Additionally, Google knows that if I search for a gym in the past, they know I search for a gym in the past and they will actually show this performance max ad to me in the future without me searching for it again. So it's usually Google ads, if you just do search, it's only for when somebody's typing and searching for it. But if you want to find people that have searched for it in the past, maybe not searching for it now, you can run a performance max campaign. Um, some other things you can do is video. If you wanna run YouTube videos, YouTube ads, you can connect your YouTube channel. This is actually really low cost right now. If you do it right, there's certain ways to do it. I would advise not to do in-stream ads. I would do recommended ads. You're gonna get the lowest cost per view and also even gain subscribers from there. But this is usually where I would start and I'll create another video about this, but that's how you set up a Google ads campaign. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you on the next video. Hey there, my name is Brad Smith, owner and founder of helplinks.com. It's my mission and my passion to help others with their business. So if I can be your coach, your mentor, or help you in any way, that's my goal. My goal is to bring you value. So let me know if there's anything I can help you with, and I look forward to working with you.